And candidates, <laughs> you may or may not know that a lot of the voting public right now looks at elected officials with a bit of a skeptical eye. So let's talk about public trust for a second. With respect to Northern Pass, uh, Eversource uh, has 24 employees, management employees, Councilor Sunu, that has donated to your campaign. Uh, obviously, these individuals, they can donate to whoever they want to, but some might have questions on how you make the case that this project with the Sununu administration isn't already bought and paid for. Oh, well, absolutely not. Look, there's no active contract of Northern Pass sitting before the Executive Council. There's no, a there's no active projects here uh, that we're moving forward on. You know, I'm a supporter of Northern Pass because I know it's going to drop rates. And I'm a victim of our, inc our incredibly high rates. They're just not sustainable. They're really not. Think about this. As we have a more of an aged state, we're getting to be an older state. The average age of New Hampshire is now beyond Florida. That means more folks are on fixed incomes. We still have a lot of folks on the lower income scale. Again, we need to provide ways to give financial flexibility to those individuals so they can stay in their homes, they can stay in the state. And whether it's lowering fuel costs, lowering health care costs, lowering energy costs, these are all things we need to do to help the individuals. See, policy in Concord is more than just words on a piece of paper. It's how it affects families. It's how it affects individuals. And again, we need a, a governor who is a stakeholder in these issues to make sure whatever we do in Concord is for the best, peop for the best interest of the people in New Hampshire. And in the interest of fairness, uh, your campaign, uh, Councilor Van Ostern, has received thousands of dollars from uh, faculty and staff members, administrators from Dartmouth. This, uh, Dartmouth Hitchcock obviously is engaged in a contract with the state worth $36 million. You two have gone back and forth on this one quite a bit. But let's start with the public trust part of this thing. How can you make the case, or how do you convince voters that the dollars and donations to your campaign don't influence where you stand on this? Well, I think voters should judge us based, based on the votes that we make and the positions that we take and who we stand up for. I'm always going to stand up for the people of New Hampshire. The problem is not just the 24 out-of-state energy executives who gave money to Chris's campaign for governor while he's promoting a project that every other candidate for governor has at least some hesitations about. The problem is that when he votes over and over and over against solar energy projects and says that he doesn't want to penalize the electric utility companies, I think we need a governor who's going to put the people of New Hampshire first, who's going to stand up for the people of New Hampshire. The reason I advocate for solar and renewable energy projects is partly because it brings down electricity costs, but also because it helps create great local jobs, high paying local jobs. I toured that uh, Peterborough solar array recently. Uh, and I met folks now who are supporting dozens of jobs here in New Hampshire, building projects exactly like that one. That's how we take the next step forward for our state, but it requires having a governor who's going to stand up for people. Let, let's be clear. You just asked a question about D Colin taking 40, over $40,000 from Dartmouth Hitchcock, and he completely ignored the question. And that's an issue where there is an active contract before us where I've stood up and said, we need to challenge, we need better management, we need to rebid the contract. Colin did as well until those contributions came in, and then we've heard nothing from him since. Complete mismanagement on the part of Governor Hassan, of Colin Van Ostrin. The red flags are all over the place. And again, Colin knows the red flags are there. He knows the lack of action he's taken. He knows the mismanagement, and that's why he completely avoided answering the question. I think, seconds. I think, Josh, the question actually was about how folks can judge the decisions we make. And so I gave examples of where we each have cast different decisions on a vote and um, allowed voters to choose whether or not that's in the best interest of the people of New Hampshire. Uh, the reason that I like to think both Chris and I voted for that contract, because in fact it was just a month ago that Chris supported the same contract that I did, is because we have a serious crisis in mental health care in New Hampshire. Today there are 34 professionals, doctors and nurses, on staff. There were 24 earlier this summer. There was a 10-bed acute psychiatric unit that was vacant, a wing that we couldn't open because we didn't have enough staff there. Now, I think that's why both of us supported this contract a month ago, and I don't think uh, having an election a week away should change your position on it. Go ahead. You have 30 seconds. You can invoke you on. Yeah. Well, again, again, he, Colin is absolutely right. We have a mental health crisis. Again, the red flags came up. The governor and her administration made it clear they weren't going to rebid it, even though there are other companies that could have bid on this. We, we moved forward on the contract. The next day, Dartmouth Hitchcock announced 450 layoffs. Days later, senior people are, are, are quitting on us. So the red flags are there. This thing needs to be rebid. It needs to be held accountable. You can talk about wanting accountability, but management is about taking real action. Colin has sat on his hands. He's done absolutely nothing. And when you're talking about some of the most sensitive citizens in our state, that's where we need to stand up. The, difference, the major difference between the two of us with this question is I answer the question head on. I'll be transparent. I'll give you a straight story every single time. Yeah, Colin will course. shuck and jive and, and, and dodge the question any which way he can. Let's move